Hello YouTube, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Retro Collectibles here, the real Retro Collectibles. This is a news update for the last, well, since late December I was having this guy stay in my house. I'm My name's Neil, by the way. I felt bad for him. The guy looked like a total, complete hobo. Like he had a beard that was unmanageable. It looked like he had food in it half the time. A rat's nest. He had a mustache. You couldn't tell if the guy had a tooth in his mouth. Like it looked like he was covering up like a mouthful of peanut brittle with the mustache. And he's on here. So I told him he can go on my YouTube stuff like that. It was barely active. He's on here going on about exclusives. And like this is supposed to be retro collectibles, not retro dope. He made a friggin' 420 video, which I don't care. I smoke dope too, you know what I mean? Uh, but it's also not retro cold laser therapy either like he did a video on that now I believe in cold therapy I used it and it's I'm the one that recommended it to him but come on it's a collectibles channel so it's just an update I kicked that uh, bald hobo looking goof out he put up quite the struggle like for a guy with such a limp and such an old guy like he looked like he was at least you know late 50s early 60s He's a tough dude. He put up a hell of a struggle, but you won't see him again. Um, now, he had time all the time because that guy didn't work. That's another reason I kicked him out. Sleep until 3 every day, all this nonsense. How is he going to put up good videos hunting and give you guys good content? So, I'm here now. I got my channel back. I'm going to be putting up hunting videos, stuff like that, and I'm going to be actually hunting so you can actually see the stuff that I bring in. Another thing, it's not just a diecast channel. I love diecast too, don't get me wrong, just like that bearded hobo, but I like Funkos, especially if they're like nostalgic, like Rocky, stuff like that. As I said, I do like... Uh, M2, so you'll see stuff like the Bazooka Joe M2 here, the Fox Body Mustang I also love. You'll also see wrestling stuff, both autographed and not autographed. Now I will admit to you guys, I do not buy modern, modern characters. I buy modern figures, but I buy all the classic superstars of my era, like Macho Man, Hogan. I don't know who half of the new guys are. I do get AEW figures sometimes, but it'll be like Sting and stuff like that I'll show you, but I go to conventions as well, so I will be putting up videos of that when I get this stuff autographed. Um, you know, boxing memorabilia, like Butterbean's autographed glove here. Also love vintage stuff, and I love my Dukes, like this original vintage Dukes watch still in the box. There's a funny story behind these. They are vintage, but they're not as rare as you think. That'll be another video. Obscure castings. You know, that ain't no Fox Body Mustang, but it sure does bring back some memories. Sorry, guys. Quick gurgle. Yeah, that bearded goof emptied out my retro Pepsis out of my pot machine, too, sitting here going on. You know what I mean? Now I gotta nurse them. Also vintage. I, I do reissue stuff too, but this is the original vintage guy. It's one of the cheapest ones I ever seen on Marketplace, but it's also one of the nicest condition ones. You don't usually get that together. And as I was saying, I collect some modern figures, but they've got to be of the classic characters. I collect Masters of the Universe. I collect a lot of reissues, basically anything that reminds me of stuff from my youth I collect. And I know a lot of you people do. So it was just a short update video um, on the changes to the channel, the new host. You can't have an old man like that. That's not going to keep your attention. So there's a new host in town, it's me, and it's my channel anyway. So see you later, bearded hobo. I might not do as many videos as him because I do work and have a life, but you will get videos every week, every couple days, whatever. In fact, the next one is going to be unboxing. I did the best modern Eleanor 
in my opinion, the best casting of that, a 118. The next video is going to be checking out a 118 of the original Orange Eleanor. A lot of the younger crowd doesn't know the original Eleanor was orange. It was not the one from the 2000 movie. That is a remake movie. It's a kick-ass movie, but it's not the original. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm going to leave the bearded hobos videos up because they are... Surprisingly, they're getting views. People are watching them, so I'm going to leave it up. The guy seemed to know what he was talking about. Um, I'm going to leave them up, and from here on in, it's me and you guys, and it's going to be hunting and finding the good stuff. No more nonsense from that guy. And, man, the, the, the dope that guy smoked the time he was here. He must have smoked like 10 ounces of weed, all empty bags in my friggin' toy room. No more of that. Anyway, guys... Thank you so much for watching all this time and subscribing. I'm at just over 300 subscribers now. I'm going to do a giveaway at 500. I don't know what yet because it's a mixed channel. So I want to make sure whoever gets pulled gets something that they collect. If they collect die cast, they get die cast, whatever. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, happy hunting.